everybody trust God until it's time to trust him with the money. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyla and today we're back with another video. This is another testimony video, you guys. I literally have so many testimonies piled up that I have to tell you guys about, but like I'd be cranking out so much content, but I'm really excited about this one today. Today I'm gonna be talking about how God called me to leave my job and all the stuff that happened in between, y'all. This is an amazing testimony and I pray that it encourages you. And let's go ahead and get into this testimony. I'm so excited, okay everybody and their mama say god i trust you god i give you my life god i'll give you anything until it comes to the money and that was me okay i was like god i trust you like i know you can provide lord i have seen you provide okay i have seen god provide for me in supernatural ways and so because i had been through that you know there were some emotional seasons i had to go through but um my faith was really tested y'all when god called me to leave my job so I actually knew that I was going to be leaving my job about two years ago. Like when I first started the job, God told me that I wasn't going to be there long. But then a year into me working at the job, I received a prophetic word saying that I was going to be leaving my job sooner than I thought. And I was like, ah. y'all, I was making good money. Okay. I was making a lot of money for my age and actually not even just for my age. I was making a lot more money than a lot of people that were even older than me. And so um, I was like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, God, I'm going to follow you regardless, but this is not necessarily something that I'm real happy about, okay, if I can be honest. So this is the year of 2021. Yeah, I got the word in the beginning of 2021, and God kept reminding me every month, like every couple of months, like, hey, I'm going to be calling you to leave your job. And I was like, okay. So I do what you do when you're prepared to leave your job. You start paying off debts. Um I was paying off these things and I was just doing the best that I could with my money. In 2020, everything kind of shut down. And at the time I was working in the office, but during this time I started working remotely and I was like, oh, I love this life, but like, I could do this forever. I get to work from my house. If anybody knows me, I love being by myself, okay? I love the freedom and the comfortability of my own presence. I like to just do what I want to do. Like I love being around people too, but I love being by myself and having that flexibility to be able to just work in different spaces and stuff like that. So I was really excited about working from home. So I just thought I would just be doing this kind of forever. But around this time, basically they were calling everybody to come back into the office and it, there were certain requirements that had to be met. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And um, I just wasn't willing to do these things, but I kept getting emails like, okay, it's time to transition back into the office. You have to be back in here by this certain date. And um, if you don't have this thing, obviously you, you can, you're not, you know, you're gonna be fired. And I was like, something didn't sit well about me, about me being forced to do something. So I was like, I'm not about to be um, forced to do anything that I don't want to do, that I don't believe in, that this is my personal choice, right? And so basically, God told me that, you know, don't do that thing. And he told me that I was going to be leaving. Now, I was trying to kind of like pace it out because I was like, God, all right, let me just do it during this date because that'll give me a little more time to save up my paychecks and stuff like that. And I remember like the pressure kept getting on. Like every week my boss would be hitting me up and she'd be like, oh, did you get the so-and-so so you can come back to work? And I was like, no, like I'm not doing that. And um, like I was trying to figure out if there was just a way I could just keep working remotely. Y'all, I was making a lot of money, okay? Like, and I didn't realize that money was an idol in my heart and so God started to reveal it to me. But like, I just didn't want to go back to that place where I had to just be like 100% dependent if I could be completely honest. Y'all don't want to be honest, but I'm gonna be honest. I didn't want to be 100% dependent on God because I like enjoyed the freedom of just being able to honestly for me, it wasn't even about the bills. I knew God would pay my bills. I just wanted to continue eating. Like I really love eating whatever I want, whenever I want and going out to dinner and buying whatever I want. Like that's just how I like. I love getting my lashes done, my nails done, all those other things. And I didn't want to have to sacrifice that because I was going to be worried about, you know, like where my next income was. And I don't care how that sounds. Like for me, that's important to me. It's I love to do that. And so that was my main thing. I've seen God provide for my bills and all those things before, but I did have to give up a lot of just like the other stuff that I wanted to do. And I didn't want to do that. Okay. So 
I tried to reach out to see if there was a way I could continue working there or whatever without doing this thing. They basically said no. And I was like, okay, bet. So I quit. I put in my two weeks and because I wasn't going to compromise what God told me to do. And um, I was just like, well, God, you were telling me to leave anyway. This was the time. And he just kept reminding me like, yes, I'm calling you to do this. I'm with you. Like I got obviously confirmation from God. I didn't tell anybody else what I was doing because I don't, when God tells me to do something, I don't need to go to other people for confirmation. Like I hear God's voice very clearly. And if I need confirmation, he will give it to me. I sent in my two weeks and everybody was like, why would you? Like, I remember everybody was kind of perplexed as to why I would just kind of give up my two weeks and because I wasn't compromising. But anyway, so now I left, I went on vacation. I had an amazing vacation in Philly right after that. I still was not, cause I was going in this mindset, like God, like you did not call me to live a life of lack. If you said that you would provide, you would provide and you always do. So I went on my vacation, had an amazing time. And now it's, it's kind of setting in that I had just left my job. Like I walked away from a lot of money, right? And I, I had just left my job. So now I'm in this place where I'm like, okay, God, it's time for you to provide. Now at the same time, I had some money coming in, but it was like not a lot of money at all. Like I have bills, bills, okay? Even though I live, you know, with my parents, like I still had probably over $2,500 in bills like to pay um, for just me. So it wasn't like living by, because I'm just by myself, it wasn't like my living expenses were cheap. And one of the things I told God, I was like, God, I don't want to be out here looking dusty, like no offense, but like, I don't want to be out here without my lashes, my haircut, without my nails. Like, it's not that I'm not comfortable without those things. It's just that that is something that I enjoy doing. And when I wasn't doing those things, like I was, you know, when you look good, you feel good. So I was like, God, I don't want to be out here looking dusty. I don't want to be out here eating beans and rice. Like, I just don't feel like that's the life you called me to live. You know what I'm saying? And so that's one of the, the things that I told God. I was like, I had enough faith to believe that God could not only provide for my base expenses, but also for the things that I wanted. You know, he says that he is my shepherd and I shall not want. So I took those scriptures literally and I was like, okay, God, here are all the things. I made a list of all the bills that I had to pay and um, my business expenses and my personal expenses. And I did all those things. And each month I would just tell God what I needed and he would provide. It wasn't always in the timing, okay, that I wanted it, but he always provided. I haven't missed the bill. There may have been some things where things were delayed, but God always came through. And I want to give you an example. Um, during the first month of me leaving my job, my bills, they were due, right? At this time, God was working on me with I was raising my prices for my services. And um, because I was really lowballing myself, I was dealing with a lot of insecurity and um, just confidence issues in my work, even though I knew my work was good for some reason. I was going through a lot of mental stuff. And that's what I talk about on my Organize My Thoughts podcast. It's just my journey of God bringing me out of this, you know, five year creative depression and overcoming like mental bondage, all these other things that were stopping me from executing. But I say all that to say that I was in a place where I, um, I had no choice but to start producing things, right? Like I was in a tight spot. And so I remember I had um, put on my web, I updated my website and all this other stuff. And I had gotten a consultation call for someone who was interested in um, web design. And I was like, oh, thank God. Like, Lord, I am so excited because, you know, like I have bills to pay. And I remember this consultation was like a week after like most of my bills were due, which was kind of frustrating because I was like, God, like I wish that it was this week because I have all these bills to pay. Um, this person actually wind up rescheduling their consultation um, the week that my bills were due and like we had the consultation call they were all on board ready to go and I remember it was time to send out the invoice y'all and I was freaking out because I was like god like I don't know like you know I have all these bills to pay like I'm still this is my first time really raising my prices for what God told me to charge and I was freaking out so like sending the invoice gave me like a lot of anxiety and all this stuff. But nonetheless, I sent the invoice and it was like four o'clock that day. And these people literally signed the contract, paid the invoice all on the same day. And in that one thing, I made more than what I made in my other job in an entire month in one client, you guys. Now, mind you, like the web design work that I do is not easy. Like I do a lot. I was building a website from scratch. I was helping them with marketing and branding. So it was a lot of work on my end, but it's something that I love to do. But I just say all that to say is that I was so stressed about money or whatever, but all I had to do was just continue to do what God was telling me to do. During that time where I left my job, I wasn't just sitting around doing nothing. I was spending more time with God. I was listening to whatever he wanted me to do. And I was being actively obedient. And in return, like he was like, I'm, I'm providing. Like that's who he is. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's a provider. So I was able to pay all of my um, bills for the month. And God was also calling me 
tell me that I needed a new wardrobe. Like I kept getting words. It's weird. I kept getting words about like my wardrobe or whatever. And that God needed me to buy new clothes because one of the things that I was going to be doing in the future was like speaking and stuff like that. And I needed to buy new clothes. And I was like, well, God, I need money to buy new clothes. And that's the same. I have more than enough money to buy all the stuff that he told me to buy, pay off my bills. And I was like, God, this is great. This is great. And then there came other seasons where God just provided in multiple ways. Like people would, um, people would sow into my life. I had somebody sow over $700 into my life to help me pay for my bills. Like it was amazing the way that God was providing. And I did not miss a beat. Y'all have never seen me on here without my lashes done, my hair cut, my nails. Like we, we serve a God of abundance. We don't serve a God of lack. And so though my faith was tested on this journey, there were times where it would be like in the midnight hour that God would provide. He always provided. And at this time, it wasn't. He was also calling me to build other things, right? Like this year, I started the um, my podcast, organize my thoughts, and it cost money to do that. So I was still at the same time taking leaps of faith, um, stepping out on faith for the things that he was calling me to build, and all those things cost money. I started the um, I filed for Made Whole to be a nonprofit this year. All of that stuff costs money, and God continued to provide the money. I remember, like right at the time, um, I had to pay for the nonprofit. Somebody literally, I had taken um, like my credit card and I had paid for the application and I was freaking out because I was like, God, like you already know like what position I'm in. And I remember I got an email from someone who was just like, I just want to sew into what you're doing. I believe in what you're doing. And this person literally emailed me um, half of the price that I just paid to file the application. And then another person hit me up and donated the rest of the half. Like it was amazing, like how God just provided. And I didn't talk to anybody about this. This is just God doing what he does, which is providing. And even like for my mom, like, like God, we had just been leaving it in God that she would be exempt from what was going on. And she got approved right for her exemption and it was just so just so in, such an encouraging process it's been um like leaving my job of course there was some some like emotional you know the enemy was trying to spit, send spiritual warfare against me trying to just make me feel in low places and make me try to doubt how god would provide and how he would come through and things like that and i went through some seasons where i started to believe him but then god will always pick me back up in those seasons and he provided you guys like that's who he is if he dresses the lilies in the field and he feeds the birds in the air and the beasts of the field he cares so much more for you and he will provide you don't have to beg god to provide you are a daughter you are a son of the most high king his words that said he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory that he will bless the works of your hands like none of those things that he loads you daily with benefits that you're blessed in the city blessed in the field blessed in your coming blessed in your going that is the language that i had to begin to shift i had to stop coming to god with a scarcity mindset with a poverty mindset feeling like god would only give me scraps god called me to live an abundant life and a part of that is trusting him to provide and also being obedient for whatever it took to get there but I just say all that to say, like, if God is calling you to leave your job, like, just trust him. OK, just trust him. He will provide. He will not let you lack. Like, I have missed a meal. I haven't missed a meal. I missed a bill. Nothing like it hasn't always been on my timing that I would like it to be done. But God always came through and he will come through for you. So I just wanted to share that testimony. You guys, again, stay updated on my journey of just following God no matter where it leads me. And I'm excited, you guys. So. Um, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss when I post in the video. And also, if you like these story time testimonials, let me know and I'll continue to do more of them. I have so many testimonies, you guys, literally so many. So um, I love you guys and I'll talk to you on the next video.